I have to come to you on the uh, comments we got from Christopher Waller, uh, suggesting that he is in no rush. He seems to be putting more emphasis on the inflation data we've had to date and the fact it's been stronger than expected than, for example, Jerome Powell. How much, how much weight do you put on those, those Waller comments? Well, he is a known hawk, so I don't think anyone should interpret them too much. But on the other hand, I think he's absolutely right. The data just does not seem to justify the rate cuts that Powell and the committee have stuck with uh, last week and that the market still seems to be pricing. Now, there's a chance the economy is going to suddenly fall off a cliff, but there are really no signs of it at the moment. That the, the December Fed has means we're in a no landing scenario. If anything, we appear to be kind of gaining a little bit of momentum again. It is a world where stock markets, uh, commodities, we're seeing, you know, credit, every single asset class is doing very, very well. And everyone is determined to find vulnerabilities. But there doesn't seem to be an obvious catalyst out there. And I think the macro backdrop is still too strong. And it is too early to fight this supposed bubble in markets. Mm, OK, so that's the, the, the story around the Fed right now. We're waiting for the PCE deflator data, which we get late, uh, tomorrow, of course, the Fed's pre uh, preferred me measure of inflation. And that's when markets are closed. Given we've heard all of this hawkishness this week, how do, you, how do we position for that PCE? Well, so we've seen both Bostock and Waller come up with these hawkish comments, but overall, yields haven't really gone anywhere in the week. It's been, a, it's been a very much a low volatility market. Of course, PCE can, can cause some volatility when we come back into markets on Monday morning in Asia, where we're going to really see the reaction. Um, but I, I think it's being, it's being overhyped as a catalyst. It's a very important data point, but I don't think we're in a situation where one data point is going to derail the narrative. It's only going to cause short-term volatility. So I think the hype around PC is perfectly in fitting with this kind of general market where participants are casting around for any possible catalyst to derail us and come up with nothing good.